There was immediate reaction from prominent people in the Democratic Party, including former President Obama, the Clintons, and major labor organizations. There was also reaction from the Republican side of the aisle, the House Speaker calling for President Biden to resign now. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi both supported Biden's decision, calling it a difficult one to make, but the right one. Then a joint statement from the Clintons, not only supporting Biden's decision to drop out, but also supporting his endorsement to replace him, throwing their support behind Vice President Kamala Harris. Former President Obama published a lengthy statement to social media following Biden's announcement, touting Biden's successes in his long political career, including his time as Obama's VP, and says the Democratic Party is now entering uncharted waters. On the Republican side, House Speaker Mike Johnson says if Biden isn't fit to run for president, he's not fit to serve as one. And the Republican nominee, former President Donald Trump, now canceling a presidential debate that was scheduled for October amid uncertainty on who will be the Democratic nominee. So what is next for the Democratic Party? It'll probably be a busy week of further endorsements and questions swirling around who would be the vice president on the Democratic ticket if Kamala is the presidential candidate. The party as a whole, after a tumultuous few weeks since debate night, seems re-energized, with reports showing the party raising nearly $50 million since Biden's announcement. While a lot of attention turns to Kamala Harris in the coming days, it won't be until the Democratic convention next month that the party secures its nominee to take on former President Trump in November.